Good morning, brothers and sisters. We made it to another Sunday. Not a bad thing. So, 152 billion. What is trending coins? XRP, AIOZ, near hype, Bitcoin, of course. <clears throat> Not too bad. We're starting off Sunday. You know, nothing crazy going on. Let's hope for a green Sunday. You know, I always talk about Sundays are rarely just completely quiet these days. Either go severely red or can trend up. Right now, we're chilled. So we're going to see what happens. Some of the gainers. As I mentioned in my short video that's not uploading, taking forever, Helium Mobile, making a move. Look at that. Layer zero. So this is one I wanted to buy. I'm not buying it at this price. Um, look at this. It has had a good run. And it's a good project. This is what I like to see right here. This is what I like to see right here. This is what I like to see, right? So it's looking pretty damn good. And uh, I can't be a buyer at six dollars on you know, six and a half dollars not happening. But uh, one for you guys to keep a watch on if you're good in getting it, you know, six and a half, seven dollars, maybe we'll have a retracement, but <clears throat> usually there is. I'm happy to see AIOZ over a dollar. You know, it was, it, was, it was fighting to get up there, and it's been fighting to get there for since, like, March. And so some resistance there, but boom, we're there. Could it drop down if we have a sell-off? Yeah, we don't have a major sell-off. I'm hoping to get this to $1.50, $1.60 range, where we can have some support there, like $1.25, $1.20. You know, I don't want to see it dipping below a dollar again. I mean, there's been it's been months and months of... You know, half a year of getting back to 80 cents, down to like 50 cents, back to reaching 88 cents, on, you know, and down to like 40 some cents. And if I wasn't in so low, I, I wanted to buy like $10,000 $10, more at the low point, but um, I didn't. But I'm not complaining. I have a ton of it at a penny and a little above that. Uh, I'm in a risk taking mood. I've been buying quite a bit of things because I like to be transparent with my brothers and sisters, tell you what I've been doing. I'm more available. Got into a project that I've been looking forever, VARA. It's just a gamble play, V-A-R-A. -A. Nothing more than a gamble. I'm already up money on it, but it's more like I have a ton of money sitting on the sidelines and... I don't want to buy Avalanche at the price that it's at. I don't want to buy Injective at the price that it's at. I have them all, all way lower, so I'm kind of spent on them. So would I like another 100 to 150 Avalanche and Injective? Yes, but I'm not doing it at this price. And I don't want to get it down to the price where I'd like to buy it. Buy more, I bought more well, uh, Moonwell. Um, bought more Floki to lower my average, and now it's up. I'm up money on, on it. It's that and Bonk's only crappy memes I own just for the hell of it. Suku, I bought. I was going to buy that at like three and four cents. I overpaid on it. It's okay. It'll do well. So, um, and I'm looking at a bunch of others to look at, to uh, get into. So, as I mentioned yesterday, Black Lords. Don't like the project. Don't like anything about it, really. But I think I'll make money on it if I go into it. Don't think, don't. At this point, I'm not going into it. Ventus. Another one I'm not impressed. I like the tokenomics and everything, but you know, look at the the volume. It's crap, but this can just go up at any time. But not loving it, I probably won't jump in. So these are just ones I'm fishing on, doing some research on. None of the projects I love. This one as well, it doesn't move. Um, there's things that I, I like about the project, you know, the tokenomics, but it's sometimes not enough. Sometimes not enough. You know, I look into the teams and it's nothing great. Guys, if you are... I know many people in my uh, community here, you've been buying, I know, uh, you know, C, C90, you're all over it. Uh, congratulations on your new phone. Uh, you know, Crypto Homes, welcome to the community. Um, Metal, I know you're doing well on EMS and all the other 
good stuff. Skull, of course, you're buying everything like me. Uh, you know, I thought I had a ton until Crypto Homes joined the community area. It's like double the project, so I gotta stack up some more. Just joking. But uh, I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm curious where we're gonna go tomorrow after the long week, kind of holiday week we have, where we're gonna start off tomorrow. We need some good news. No BS, no blackish swan events happening where it's gonna hurt us. You know, we do have an, a Fed meeting uh, this this month. We're gonna be volatile that week. We're gonna be volatile during CPI. So you might get some, you know, sell-offs and time to uh, DCA there. So don't go all in on anything. You're gonna have volatility. Um, we're not guaranteed a rate cut. I don't know what's, he's, no one knows what he's gonna do, right? It was guaranteed in everyone's mind, never in my mind that we're getting all these rate cuts before the end of the year. That's not up to us, right? The Fed looks at data, especially this Fed under Jerome Powell. And I'll get ready to go for my run, need a little energy. Um, so with data that's coming out, he could wanna wait and see what happens and just pause. No one knows. If he pauses, you're going to see a little turmoil. I can tell you that. That's my thought, at least. Um, so that's about it. Let's see if I can go live later. Um, my personal thought is, in my opinion, you got to get in. You know, XRP, before we know it, is going to be above $2. It's hard to believe, um, even though that's not even, that's nothing. You know, we, we should be laughing at that. It should be at 3 or $4 years ago, but... With all the shit we've gone through, which is what it is. Um, I'm not, a, as you know, a believer that it's going to 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, and certainly not 589 ever, unless this right here goes to 50 million, right? They're not going to burn, get, they're not able to get rid of 50, you know, 7 billion. So, um, supply, they have more to dump on, on us as well. But if we can get this to two, two and a half dollars, a lot of people who've been patient like myself will be very happy, very happy with Cardano. So things are looking, guys, we're in a bull market. We are in a bull market and it is not even crazy yet. This is nothing. I will always say this. I know you know it's coming. Who are in my community here. It could end at any time, meaning if some shit hits the fan next week or today or tomorrow or stuff really happens economy wise. It's over for a while. I don't see that happen. Right now, things are looking damn good. You have to have dry powder. You have to do what you need to do to get dry powder. I always go over my rules and what I, I know will make you successful. The old timers and people who have been doing this more than you know one or two cycles know they're already in. They're already allocated. You're not too late. You're too late for the cheap, cheap, cheap prices, right? AIOZ at a penny or at 11 cents. Solana at nine dollars, you know, nine bucks. Cardano at thirty cents. XRP at thirty, forty cents. Avalanche at twenty bucks. Injective at twenty bucks. Those are gone. That means nothing. We don't even have retail, true retail in here. When retail comes in, Avalanche will be at eighty dollars. You know, Chainlink will be at thirty bucks in no time. Near fifteen dollars. You know, these are my thoughts. These are not price predictions. These are my thoughts. I even I see crappy B will be at 20 bucks again. I mean, of course it will. Render's going to kill it. You know, Render's a little expensive there. All these things are going to go out of control. You have to have dry powder and you have to be in the market. Uh, I know a lot of you are DCAing. Those of you who are new, feel free to reach out to me, comment. I will answer all questions. Uh, I'd like to, uh, you know, if you're new, subscribe. Whatever questions you have, whether it's crypto, health, anything, I'm here for you. That's all it's about. If you don't have a, a wallet, get yourself a, a, um, a hardware wallet. Have one aside if you're not used to that. I know everyone listening to this does, but if you don't, my, I personally use Tangem. You can use my link. If you don't want to use my link, don't. You get a discount on it. I could care less. Get something that you're comfortable with. I use Tangem just because... This, this thing right here because it's um it's easy i like easy i will keep you in the now of what i'm doing guys uh and you guys share what you're doing what are you buying we had a pretty good lively chat yesterday gene uh it was good to see you yesterday haven't seen you forever 
welcome. You guys need anything? You know where to find me. Be back in a bit. Hey, 